Hi, this is uh, Yaroslav from sharemarch.com and today we're going to take a look at what's new for designers Fairpoint 2013 preview. So uh, this is my typical team side that we've been looking at uh, for the past couple of screencasts. So let's take a look at how we can uh, make uh, master page customizations to this particular site. I'm going to be using also a new Sharepoint designer uh, preview 2013 preview uh, as a part of, of this particular demo so we'll see what that's applicable so one of the things um, if I go to site settings um, you'll see there's a couple of things that has changed you know the name has some of the items have been added some of the names have been changed um, in this case uh, design manager has been added change the look and import design package so um, the the whole uh, design process uh, has been a little bit streamlined from from both uh, you know developer best practices and, and user interface developer best practices so now basically you're making your changes if you get a cut up from let's say a design agency which is typically in HTML format what they what they would do you would use this um, uh, you would use this design manager uh, little option here and that design manager will walk um, a user interface developer not who's not necessarily familiar with SharePoint 2013 um, walk them through the process of importing that design that HTML cut up uh, as the as a SharePoint as a legitimate SharePoint uh, 2013 uh, master page so let's take a look at how that how, how that would look like so first thing that I'm gonna do um, you know obviously when you get that design package from design agency it's probably you know in some sort of um, you know HTML file there's also images there's CSS files so one of the things that you can do is um, uh, upload those new uh, design files and there's uh, this this wizard this particular uh, design manager is in the form of a wizard but a lot of steps don't really apply to a typical process so I find if you if you have raw files uh, you just click on upload design files and then you would sort of prepare uh, your, your artifacts and you would drop them into the catalogs master page uh, and upload them there. So in here, you know, the, the system recommends you to map a drive where you can drop files and manage them easily that way. So you can do that, or you can open the site in SharePoint Designer, uh, open master pages, and then drop them here. So one thing that happens is you can see there's a couple of examples here, oslo.html and seattle.html. Those are just HTML pages, and uh, but they're not just any HTML pages. So there's a couple of benefits here. Um, the benefit here is uh, since this is a regular page and something that you will receive from a design agency will look similar to this, um, it will open in a regular browser. So if you open this particular page in a browser, it'll open just fine. You'll see the, the design artifacts and, and everything rendered as expected. But there's a couple of things that you need to do to make it actually a SharePoint uh, master page. You, you need to insert certain snippets, right? Snippets that uh, typically mean um, that, that will be compiled into this legitimate dot master file at uh, you know at the end of the day um, that'll be imported uh, and, and converted automatically so those snippets are gonna have to be inserted um, for this particular HTML file to uh, to convert to actual master page and there's there's tools that you know that will which we'll take a look at the next uh, screencast potentially or one after uh, that'll help you make that uh, but but you need to be aware of those snippets that need need to go here so once those snippets are in place, uh, the uh, the actual file will automatically get converted to the .master file. So here's an example. So I have here uh, I have here this Seattle.html which was out of the box uh, installed in this preview machine. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to add onload um, attribute and say uh, call an alert and uh, just display the word hello. So I'll do that. I'll save this file and I'm going to close it. I'm going to refresh this list and I should see the seattle.master has changed, although I haven't touched it. So if I open that file and the timestamp is exactly the same. So if I open that file on the top of everything out of the box, I'll also see the customization that I've added here. And it pretty much happens on a fly. So to see whether that actually works, how, how that actually works in, in, on, on the actual site, I would go to, uh, uh, since this is a team site, um, I could go to my SharePoint Designer and apply this 
uh, particular master page, the seattle.master as my default master page on the site. So next time when I hit my site, uh, my team site, I get, I'll get this hello message. So that kind of demonstrates how things are uh, compiled. So hopefully that gives you a, a quick sort of an idea of what's changed uh, in a way that uh, the, of, of the process of actually importing your new designs. Now another thing that I wanted to point out here uh, is uh, um, let me disable this uh, particular hello message here is the whole um, is the whole uh, solution is the whole actual packaging of the design as the uh, as the actual solution. So typically design uh, has been one of those shortcuts where uh, you know people create a design, apply it on the site and uh, it's just it's just being uh, uh, it's just being applied partially on the side just manually basically people set the master page people copy images so it's not really treated as a as a WSP as a solution package so in this particular uh, in the preview we can see that that's that's actually um, been taken a little bit more seriously so what I mean by that is that when you when you're done customizing everything using your design manager right importing all of the files and everything. Um, you can actually create a design package and when you create a design package let's say I'll leave the name test as is um, I'll say create and it actually creates a WSP file for you so it'll actually it actually packages all of the master pages and page layouts and images and all the other artifacts we'll take a look at those um, as, as a solution package and uh, when it's you know when it's ready uh, you can see uh, you could uh, you can actually see the package right here. So I'm going to open in a separate window. So um, the reason why I want to do that is because I actually wanted to show you that the solution package that's created WSP, which you can download, is actually a sandbox, is, is in the solution gallery. So it's a, a sandbox solution. So once you've created the solution package, you can now give it to, to someone, either to someone that manages your production or the client that has completely separate environment. And what they can do, they can go into their environment site settings and click uh, import design package and actually uh, browse and, and pick up the package and, and apply it um, on their environment. So hopefully that gives you an idea of what's changed in terms of actually uh, making your design as a you know, production ready, ready solution package. So uh, if you have any comments, uh, feel free to, to leave them on and, uh, and stay tuned for our next series of webcasts.